Today, I bring you exciting news. Mint Mobile has officially launched their new $30 unlimited data plan. I think this is gonna be a fantastic option for a lot of people, but it's not for everyone. In this video, I'm covering everything you need to know about Mint Mobile's new plan, including the pricing, features, and performance of the plan, what my experience has been like using Mint Mobile as my personal provider for the past year and a half, how Mint Mobile is able to offer such affordable plans, and at the end of the day, whether or not you should sign up for this plan. You can find links to timestamps to all these sections down in the video description, as well as a link to check out Mint Mobile's new plan for yourself on their website. And of course, you can check out my website, bestphoneplans.net, where you can view even more details and information about the plan. With that said, let's get into it. So this is it. This is Mint Mobile's new $30 unlimited data plan. It supports the same features you've come to know and expect from Mint Mobile. It uses the T-Mobile network for coverage. It includes unlimited talk, text, and 35 gigs of high-speed data before unlimited data at 2G speeds. You'll notice this plan also includes 5 gigs of dedicated high-speed hotspot data. It supports visual voicemail, MMS, voice over LTE, Wi-Fi calling, and 5G access on T-Mobile's 5G network. Add-ons are available for international calling and international data roaming, and unfortunately, domestic data roaming isn't supported at this time. And as with all of Mint Mobile plans, it is sold in bulk three, six, or 12 month packages. This plan is available starting today, right now, on Mint Mobile's website, link in the video description. What you're getting is a SIM starter kit that comes preloaded with three months of service. So new customers can enjoy an intro offer. It is three months for $90, which comes out to $30 per month. And then after your three months of service, if you're interested in renewing the plan, you can renew it for either three, six, or 12 months. And the 12 month option will give you the best value where the price will come out to just $30 per month. I think the big thing we need to talk about is the 35 gigs of high-speed data. Is 35 gigs enough to call this plan an unlimited plan? Well, it turns out this is common practice in the cell phone industry. Ultra Mobile's unlimited data plan has 50 gigs of high-speed data, Google Fi only includes 22 gigs of high-speed data with their unlimited plan. Tello has an unlimited data plan with 25 gigs of data. And even US Mobile's new unlimited data plans have 50 gigs of high-speed data before unlimited data at slower speeds. Why are carriers doing this? Well, it turns out most people don't actually need unlimited data. Reach Mobile published a report where 85% of 400 survey respondents used less than 10 gigs of cellular data per month. And of the people that used more, only 7% used more than 20 gigs per month. And it's not just Reach Mobile finding this. Statista has a report where the average smartphone cellular data usage is projected to only reach 8.9 gigabytes in the year 2021. The Motley Fool published an article in 2018 where the average monthly data usage was between four to five gigabytes on the major carriers. And even Cisco published their annual internet report where only 4% of mobile users consumed over 50 gigs of cellular data each month. So by offering a plan with 35 gigs of high-speed data, Mint Mobile is effectively offering a plan that will feel like an unlimited data plan for 93 to 95% of users. Is it right of them to call this plan unlimited when really it does have that set amount of high-speed data? Honestly, I have mixed feelings about this because the truth is those subscribers who would benefit most from switching to this plan probably wouldn't sign up if it wasn't labeled an unlimited plan. The fact of the matter is most people, A, don't know how much cellular data they need and B, they don't wanna think about it. That's why they sign up for the 70, 80, or $90 unlimited data plans from the major carriers. They just don't wanna think about their cellular data usage. So by labeling this plan as unlimited and including 35 gigs of high-speed data, Mint Mobile is effectively able to meet the needs of 93 to 95% of average subscribers. And for them, it would feel like an unlimited data plan. So I think on one hand, I'm disappointed that this industry is misleading and how it uses the term unlimited. But on the other hand, I also don't feel like most subscribers 
have enough knowledge to know that this is enough data for them. So I don't know, I have mixed feelings about it. What I do like is it meets the needs of 93 to 95% of subscribers at again, one of the most affordable price points in the industry. So if you're one of the people who fits into this category where 35 gigs of cellular data would be perfect for your average usage, what is the experience like using Mint Mobile? Well, I've been using Mint Mobile as my personal carrier for the past 18 months now, and honestly, I've been thrilled with the experience. It's been great. So what I like about Mint Mobile is they have a great application for managing your account. This actually recently got a redesign and it's much nicer, cleaner, and easier to navigate. You can easily manage your plan and payment preferences. You can choose to add more data if you run out. And there are, of course, international add-ons if you choose to travel outside the country. Another big feature is Mint introduced Mint Family, where you can now manage multiple lines under one account, which is super helpful for families or people who have a group plan together. Uh, there's no family discount. Mint's plans are already pretty cheap as it is. It's just nice and convenient being able to manage the billing under one pooled account. I've really enjoyed my experience using the Mint Mobile network. Data speeds have been fast for me. T-Mobile coverage has been great in the areas that I've lived. But of course, you definitely wanna make sure you have good T-Mobile coverage in your area before you sign up. Now, speaking of the plans and prices, how is Mint able to offer such affordable plans? Well, they do this with five key reasons. The first reason is Mint Mobile does not offer any physical store locations. They sell all of their plans on their online website, which allows them to save on rent and utility costs for leasing building space. They save on staffing salespeople in the physical store locations, and they save on other expenses like keeping inventory and more uh, when you have multiple storefronts around the United States. Mint's online website makes it super easy for them to keep everything in one centralized location and cut costs which they can then pass on to you, the subscriber. The second big reason is Mint offers their plans in bulk. As you've seen, you can choose to sign up in either a three, six, or 12 month option. And the longer you sign up for, the more you save. It's a lot like when you walk into Costco, the bigger bulk item you buy, the lower the cost is per unit of that item. So the longer you sign up for with Mint, the better deal you get. Having people sign up for longer commitments also helps reduce the churn rate uh, for Mint Mobile. So that's the rate of subscribers signing up for and then leaving the service. When you have longer commitments, uh, people are more likely to stick with the service uh, for longer. So that's helped Mint Mobile offer more affordable plans. The third big reason Mint is able to offer such cheap plans is they know exactly how much cellular data to expect their subscribers to use. Something you may or may not know is that in order to use the T-Mobile network for coverage, Mint Mobile has an agreement with T-Mobile. And oftentimes in these agreements, Mint Mobile is paying T-Mobile per gigabyte of cellular data that their subscribers use. So by knowing exactly how much cellular data to expect their subscribers to use, Mint Mobile can make more accurate and informed financial decisions. This is actually a big reason why their unlimited data plan has a 35 gig high speed limit as opposed to being a true unlimited data plan, which you can really only get from T-Mobile themselves or the other major carriers. The fourth reason is Mint Mobile offers a lot of self-help tools. We saw this most recently in the application update where Mint Mobile introduced a new chatbot, which they cleverly named the Foxbot. This chatbot offers automated responses and helps answer frequently asked questions that Mint subscribers may be wondering about. This chatbot helps reduce the load on Mint Mobile's customer support team. So when you do reach out for support, the wait times are shorter and you're more quickly able to be connected to a representative and have your issue solved. Mint Mobile also has a lot of tutorials on their YouTube channel for inserting your SIM card, signing up for the service and getting activated, which again helps people sign up and reduces the load on their customer support team. And if you think about it, those videos last forever and answer common questions that many subscribers may have. And finally, the fifth big reason Mint Mobile is able to be so affordable is they make strategic marketing decisions. Now, you may know Ryan Reynolds acquired Mint Mobile back in November 2019, and this gave Mint Mobile access to Ryan Reynolds' huge voice, audience, and multiple channels where they could promote and advertise their product. Ryan has huge followings on YouTube, Twitter, and Instagram, and of course, he's been able to promote his new cell phone carrier that he owns on those channels 
reaching a huge audience at a next to nothing cost. Another super cool thing that Mint Mobile did under Ryan Reynolds is instead of spending $5 million on a Super Bowl commercial that many other carriers might have done, they did the math and realized they could literally give away 300,000 months of free cell service to brand new subscribers for less than the cost of a Super Bowl commercial. So that's exactly what they did. Mint Mobile had their free Super Bowl promotion. I made a video covering this. It was a great opportunity for new subscribers to get activated on the Mint Mobile network, try them out, see if they would work for them, and then ultimately, hopefully for Mint, commit to a longer three, six, or 12 month plan. So those strategic advertising initiatives have helped Mint gain subscribers at lower customer acquisition costs than the major providers. And yeah, they just pass on all of these savings to you, the consumer, because ultimately Mint's angle is they want to offer incredibly affordable plans that still deliver the same premium service you're used to so that you save money and, and get great service and then you stick with Mint and that's how they grow. So that's been Mint Mobile's strategy. Should you sign up for Mint Mobile's new $30 plan? If you're one of the 93 to 95% of people who use less than 30 gigs of cellular data each month, then yeah, I think Mint Mobile is a great option at a great price point. If you're a family, I think Mint Mobile is great. You can each choose your own plan that works best for you. And with the Mint family, all of your plans can be managed under one Mint Mobile account. If you're a fan of Ryan Reynolds, yeah, absolutely. Sign up, you may get a voicemail message from him. Who knows, I wonder how the guy's doing. Ryan, how you doing? Hopefully you're doing all right. If you're someone looking for an affordable 5G cell phone plan, like the new iPhones coming out in just a couple of months, the Pixel 5 or other 5G compatible smartphones, then yeah, Mint Mobile's a great option for you. If you're someone who likes to purchase your device unlocked so it isn't tied to any carrier or contract and you have the freedom to choose any plan or carrier you want, yeah. I think Mint Mobile's a great option for you. If you're someone who would enjoy not worrying about a cell phone bill for literally a year, uh, then yeah, you can join that no bill chill life and just get a friendly email every month that your plan's already been paid for. So if you're one of those people, I think Mint Mobile could be a great option for you. If you're someone who uses more than 30 gigs of cellular data per month, and I know you're out there in my audience particularly, uh, no, do not sign up for this plan. You will be disappointed. If you need more than five gigs of dedicated hotspot data, Mint Mobile isn't for you. Look for other options. If you're someone who travels internationally, I think Mint Mobile's expensive for that. I would look at other plans like Google Fi. If you're someone who needs domestic roaming on T-Mobile's partner networks here in the United States, I would look elsewhere. Get a plan from T-Mobile themselves to enjoy that slightly better coverage. If you're someone who prefers to finance their phone monthly, then Mint Mobile may not be for you. The only option right now is the iPhone SE, which is actually a pretty good deal at 15 bucks a month for the phone and 15 bucks a month for the service. But besides that, all financing is done through a firm. And let's be real, you don't wanna finance your phone through a firm. So Mint Mobile is really best for those of you with unlocked devices that you're ready to activate with Mint Mobile. And finally, if you're someone who lives in an area with poor T-Mobile coverage, don't sign up for Mint Mobile. They use T-Mobile for coverage. They don't control what the coverage area and services like, that's on T-Mobile, uh, so the experience would be the same. But that's been it. That is everything you need to know about Mint Mobile. I use them because I enjoy their affordable plans, their full feature service, and I personally get good T-Mobile coverage in my area. And I'm low key super excited for 5G on the upcoming iPhone and the Pixel 5. Um, but yeah, that's been it. Please leave any questions you have in the comment section down below. Like this video if you found it helpful. Subscribe for more videos like this one. I'm Stetson, thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time.